Hey everyone, welcome to Dr. Retro's Video Game Finds Part 95. This week has been crazy. I've had a lot of stuff coming in that I ordered a while ago, plus there were two retro conventions. There was the retro convention in Bochum, Germany uh, last Saturday, and there was the retro convention in Dörne last Sunday. So I got some, yeah, some awesome stuff coming in, and it's so much that I'm gonna stop talking and just start showing you stuff, because it's just so much, and I don't want to have you spend here an entire hour. So, um, grab a drink, make sure you're seated well because um, this is gonna take a while but you're gonna see some awesome stuff. First up, two Street Fighter um, arcade sticks for the PlayStation 3. I got these in a trade. I'm not a big user of these myself so they're gonna go for trading or selling um, Again, I already have one of these that I unboxed with the box, etc. These are really heavy, high quality uh, joysticks, but like I said, I don't use these myself. This was the first one, it's a bigger one, and then I have a smaller one over here, which has um, the same button layout, but then uh, yeah, in a smaller stick. These are both high quality sticks and uh, has a nice Capcom front on them, so if you're a Street Fighter fan, these are really cool. PlayStation 1 and like I said at the beginning of the video this week was crazy so this is a pile of some of the most rare PlayStation 1 games you can think of Tombi 2, Tombi 1, Strikers 1945, this is actually not super rare Digimon World 2003, Digimon Rumble Arena and now we're getting close to the really rare stuff Discord Noir, Monster Rancher, Demo 1 Still sealed, that's the sticker seal still on it. Then, this is the commemorative disc for Rapid Racer. It's to celebrate the production of the 50th million European PlayStation CD. Extremely hard to find and very collectible, at least in my opinion. And this is also a commemorative disc for Gran Turismo. And this is to celebrate the 100th million PlayStation disc. I already have these. Uh, this is an upgrade box-wise, the other one as well. But mine aren't super bad. Super, yeah, super bad. Cool movie, by the way. Um, so these are up for trade or for sale. Then for the PlayStation 2, we have a Gran Turismo 4 press kit. This is number 1289. It has some damage on the front, but um, I got it in a trade. I traded away my Mario lamp that uh, I didn't have room for anymore. And this is also some nice trade bait because I already have a copy of this one. This week is also special by the way in the fact that I don't have that much PC big boxes in. I only have 2, 4, 6, 8, uh, about 15. So not super much. We'll get to them uh, after this. This is a replacement Game Boy screen. Uh, Guy now has a bunch of these and um, he says they're really hard to, uh, to connect to make it work in a Game Boy but he gave me one for free to see if I could uh, pull it off. And my original Game Boy that I had as a kid has some dead lines in the screen. So I might try and get this uh, working in my Game Boy. Then the Game Boy Advance SP NES Edition. Not in superb condition as you can see, but it's not that bad. Then Wario Land 4 for the Game Boy Advance. Quite a fun game in my opinion. And a panorama screen Popeye. And the funny fact, the funny thing about this one is someone came to me on the convention saying that he had this one without the battery lid. Turns out I had one spare battery lid and that was exactly this one and I didn't even know it was for Popeye so what are the chances right? So he traded me this one and uh, I don't have that one it's actually a really fun game. Like I said only a couple big boxes Road and Track presents the Need for Speed special edition so this is Need for Speed 1. Lemmings 2 The Tribes Warhammer 4000 Chaos Gate Full Throttle the 11th hour and Star Wars Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith the official mission. And these are already the last big box games. Tender Love and Care which is a semi-erotic FMV game. Alone in the Dark 3. Command and Conquer Tiberian Sun. Command and Conquer Covert Operations. Command and Conquer Red Alert. And this last one is Quest for Fame which is an Aerosmith game and this comes with one of the weirdest peripherals I have ever seen. Let me show you. 
This is, you have to connect it to your uh, printer port. This is a, a pick. You could use this to play air guitar or something like that. There's a little meter inside that feels if you flick it. And yeah, no clue what, what, yeah. I think you had to play guitar with this, but of course, but if it worked, I have no clue. If you've ever seen this, uh, someone play this or had it or played it or whatever, let me know. I'm really curious to see if that actually worked. Because my odds of my guess is that it didn't work. This is a big set of PlayStation 2 RPGs and among them is Soul Nomad and the World Eaters Sealed. And as far as I'm concerned, this is by far the rarest RPG you have in PAL PlayStation 2 land. Really, really hard to find and I have a sealed copy now. Actually my second, because my collection copy also, is also sealed. Grim Grimoire, Fahrenheit, Jade Cocoon 2, Zone of the Enders, the second runner. Odin Sphere, Valkyrie Profile 2, uh, Silmeria, Rogue Galaxy, Beautiful Joke 2, Kingdom Hearts, Killer 7, Final Fantasy X, Unlimited Saga, Dark Chronicle, Guilty Gear X, Dragon's Quest Journey of the Cursed King, they're not all RPGs as you saw, uh, Street Fighter Alpha Anthology, Star Ocean Till the End of Time, Shadow of the Colossus, the Cardboard Edition with the art cards, etc. Uh, Crimson Sea 2 and the last ones are Klonoa 2, Lunatea's Veil and Okami. And Okami, I've said it before, but by far one of the best Zelda type games. Really, really good adventure game. Some random odds and ends. Banjo Tooie, complete for Nintendo 64 in quite good condition if you ask me. And you can see that for yourself. XLA for the Super Nintendo, also in great condition. First Samurai, not in superb condition. And then two Mega CD games. Uh, Final Fight CD and Sonic CD and later on in the video I have another Sega CD game which I'm really happy to finally have. I uh, also missed out on some Sega CD games um, at the convention. I was getting a Robo Aleste but just before I wanted to pick it up it was gone. Nintendo NES. First some cartridges that someone traded in at the convention for other games. Popeye, Kabuki Quantum Fighter and Kickle Cubicle and then some complete games. Shadow Warriors Ninja Gaiden, 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 Gaiden. Uh, Donkey Kong Classics, two copies. DuckTales 2, complete, not the French version. Uh, Hudson Hawk with a really ridiculous looking Bruce uh, Willis on the front. And then Muxi 15, which is a quite rare unofficial game by uh, uh, AVE, American Video Entertainment. And it has 15 different NES games. I found this in Germany and it's, um, yeah, it's really hard to find. But I'm not going to keep it because I don't collect um, I don't collect non-official stuff. So that's for sale or trade if you're if you're interested. At the convention in Durna, um, there was a collector getting rid of his ColecoVision stuff, and I traded him some PC big box games for it. And you know I have plenty of those. This was the first item. It's the expansion module number one, which allows you to play Atari 2600 games on your ColecoVision. Then we have the big box let's first get this one expansion module number one but then complete in box this is the one I just showed but then in box then there is the super action controller set without the game it's a little too big for putting it on camera hole but uh, this is the box as you can see I'll probably do some unboxing videos on those because uh, these are not easy to find and are in really good condition for uh, for their age. So that was number two. Number three is expansion module number two, complete in box, which is the steering wheel with gas pedal and it comes with the turbo game. This is, these are the sides of the boxes. And then there's another one. Let's make some room for it. And it's the... Super Action Controller set, same one as I just showed, but then with the Super Action Baseball game and the controller overlays. So these are all in great condition, like I said, all with inlay. As you can hear, these boxes are, I can't push them in, so there is a styrofoam inside. And if you want to see what's on all inside of here, I will make videos of those and you can check those out later. This is an overview of the first bunch of games that I bought at the two conventions and last week. And uh, as usual we're gonna work from the not so super rare to the really rare, really happy to have stuff uh, at the end of the video. And I got a big bang at the end as usual. So first up is this uh, custom made Mega Man uh, bead. These, these are those beads that you need to heat up with uh, 
iron. I liked it. It's a nice addition to my uh, collection room. I can put it somewhere for some little extras. Then a Terra Enigma card, the UKV version or the EUR, it's always that code, finally completes my Terra Enigma. Then some Sega Mega Drive game, Herzog 2, McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure. I had this um, and I decided to keep it. Just wanted to show you guys that uh, thanks to you guys saying that it's a good game. I tried it out. It's cool and I'm keeping it. Light Crusader, Starflight, Rings of Power, The Immortal, Ranger X, and Hellfire, which is a shoot 'em up, and I like shoot 'em ups. Then, here we have a Pac Man Ice Cube tray. Well, as you know, I'm a retro gamer, I'm a retro collector, so why do I have normal ice cubes when I can have Pac Man ice cubes, right? I want Pac Man ice cubes, and you should want them too. Tech Romancer for the Sega Dreamcast. Oh, another Mega Drive game, Dungeons & Dragons Warriors of the Eternal Sun. Then my second Vita game, Rayman Origins. And this game looks so damn awesome. I have it on the PS3, really love it, but now I have it for uh, playing on the go as well. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3, the Collector's Edition. Just bought this because it has a sleeve that I didn't yet have. Otogi 2, this is uh, quite a rare Xbox game and yeah kind of completes my Xbox collection. One of the few uh, Kinect games that are actually fun to play, the Gunstringer. Parodius Mint Complete for the Super Nintendo, but it's the German version, so I'll keep holding on to this one until I have an English version. Persona 4 Sealed, which I already had, but this is the first release seal. It's without the PlayStation strip. Uh, it's also it's, it's a heavier type of box. That's really specialistic collecting. Uh, if you're if you're really big into PlayStation 2 like I am, that's the kind of things you're looking at. But normally collectors don't uh, think about that or are interested in that. Dreamcast Power Stone 2, Butsobushi for the PlayStation 1, then two 3DS games, Resident Evil Revelations and Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D. One of those two is horrible, one of those is good. I'm not sure which one is which. Super Mario World 2 and Super Mario World... Yeah, Super Mario Advance 2 and 3, which is Mario World 1 and 2 for the Game Boy Advance. And Atari Anniversary Redux for the PlayStation 1. We're getting closer to the grand finale and uh, more games that I was really looking for. And I'm still doubting which one I'm going to show last. Because it's two things that... Um, yeah, you'll see. Space Quest 3. Then we have Shining Force CD, which is a quite hard to find Mega CD game. And hardly ever find Mega CD games, so when I can pick them up, I, I definitely do. And that's why I was so bummed with uh, losing the Robo Alesti on the convention in Germany. Then Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence, but I didn't notice when I bought it, but it's sealed. And it's also tear strip sealed, so it's an official seal. Didn't know that, really cool, so now I'm gonna keep it. Because I already have it, of course. Then Gold Cliff, Nintendo Game & Watch, and this is the pocket size version, complete in box, in quite good condition for such an old game. Then a PlayStation 2 game that I did not yet have and that does not happen often. It happens at least only once or twice a year. This is Dragon Sisters by Essential Games and Essential Games are really rare usually. It looks to be actually a good game but it's sealed so I'm gonna keep it like that for now. Then for the Sega Saturn, King of Fires 95 with the RAM Pack Edition. This comes with an extra RAM Pack so you can play the game with uh, better quality etc. Then for the Sega Mega Drive, The Ooze and Fantasy Star 4, which completes my Fantasy Star set on the Mega Drive. And this last one is the Super Nintendo game Sky Blazer, UK version, uh, which is also really, really uncommon. Okay, three more items to go, and I'm first going to show something that needs to remove my camera from the stand. I just said three items, but there's actually more, and it would be a pity to forget to show you guys these two. This is a PlayStation 2 store sign which shows you the store is open or closed if you twist it the other way around as you can see here and I'm just going to put that on my door. Then a PlayStation 2 lamp, don't have the space for it at the moment but uh, yeah, if I ever move house again this will definitely go up, looks really really cool. And then the item below that is a huge box, this is actually really really big. This is the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim collector's edition and let me flip over the box to show you what's inside this beast of a box which is still sealed has the following items 
the Alduin uh, standee which you can see here sorry for the bad light but it's a really dark box it also has the Art of Skyrim uh, book um, documentary the making of the Elder Scrolls 5 and a deluxe world map so not a lot in there but just a really really big statue and I'm actually looking forward to playing Skyrim because my computer is not fast enough to play this game I'm gonna play it on PlayStation 3 I was doubting to pick this one as the last one but since I already have a complete AES inbox it's the second to last item I don't have a complete controller by the way which is this so I'm keeping that and I'm also keeping this AES because it has a lower serial number than mine it has the manual it has the memory card and the box is in better condition than the one I have. It's a PAL UK version with a low serial number so that means good hardware and um, yeah AES is by far the best arcade experience you can have at home. I just love this AES. Really really happy to have this one. And then the grand finale a Super Nintendo complete in box game that I had on my want list for years. I think it's one of the first games I actually put on my want list. It's very rare, a very good game, which always makes it uh, very uh, wanted. And now it's finally mine for the great price of 180 euros. Complete in box, Paul European Wild Guns. This is such an awesome game. If you have never played it or you never seen it, check out gameplay videos or reviews, and uh, you'll love it. It's a really strange type uh, shoot 'em up arcade style shooter game. Um, which has you has you dodge bullets and shoot bullets etc and yeah it's also a rare game like I said so finally having this one in complete condition makes me a very very happy collector so that was it for this week I hope you enjoyed watching but if you like rare games I'm definitely sure you liked watching this um, yeah next week a new video and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on everything like me on facebook.com slash drretromd to also get pictures and other updates and uh, I hope to see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.